it out there on the water today. It was cold and windy. Yeah. Yeah, it uh, took off this morning. Had a little trouble getting out this morning because of the cold air, water, and, and the wind. But once I got out there and started moving around, it got it heated up pretty good. Yeah, so you think maybe tomorrow may be a good day of fishing out here, huh? I'm hoping so. We are doing our ABA tournament tomorrow, and uh, I was out today trying to find some fish, which uh, didn't do too well to this cold weather, and hopefully tomorrow they'll kick in. Okay, now what is this ABA tournament? It's American Bass Association. They're uh, they're statewide. They're uh, uh, they're actually nationwide, aren't they? Well, nationwide. They're they're in every state except for I think four or five. Uh, but Florida, they have uh, they have about six six areas that are coming out. They had one out of uh, Southport this morning. It was an ABA, and then tomorrow morning to be out of this end of the lake. Oh, okay. So that gives them a chance to to uh, to uh, work both ends of the lake without okay. having to travel a lot of distance. Yeah, well, with the rough of the water is, it's a good exactly. thing right now because yeah. this, this old lake can get rough when it, that wind comes it, up. You get up on the, the other side of Paris Island over there and around Mexicans Island when it, with that deeper water, and it can get rough. Yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, has the lake been turning some pretty good fish, or is it? Uh... Uh, it's it's turning some fish, some small ones. The bigger ones hadn't come out yet, but since they they sprayed this lake to get rid of the hydrilla, and uh, it's gone down, and it's kind of got them confused where to go, yeah. and so now they're working, going to be working into the Kissimmee grass and start uh, uh, going into their pre-spawn and moving up on beds. So when this temperature fluctuates as much as that you get this low temperature and high temperature they get confused so if the temperature would stay at a normal yeah. 72 78 degrees then they'll start moving in a little yeah. closer to the yeah. shoreline well, it, it should be the temperature should be pretty close to bedding right now exactly you yeah, know yeah, so, it will be yeah, there's, yeah. Some, there's some hogs in this I, I heard down in Estapoca that they found some uh, bedding fish down there. So yeah, yeah. this lake's going to take a little bit because of the the hydrilla has got it all covered up. But yeah. now that it killed it, so that it should just start be picking it up. Yeah. Well, so I think what what'll happen is, is we'll probably see you out here tomorrow. I'm definitely going to be here. That's oh, for sure. Okay. So we'll we'll do some interviews with the guys and see who, see who comes in with the most fish. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna see, and there's some great guys yeah. in this club. Okay. Well, this uh, this is being brought to you by Ketchum Lures. Uh, Ketchum is uh, actually a, a pretty new company, and uh, they're only going to handle baits that work. Because you can go into some of the stores and there's hundreds of baits there, but some of them are worthless. You know how they. Oh are. yeah, you can you can spend some money on some baits there and and not have, and, and not have them. Yeah, you, you you it's always nice to try different products because uh, I remember a few years ago when the swim jib started hitting here and the yeah. and the frogs they they just tore it up. So yeah. you just got to keep changing over. That's yeah. right, and we've we've come out. Uh, the uh, Ketchum Company has come out with a new one. It's called a woolly gouger. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, I gave you some. You're gonna try some tomorrow. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try them. It's a, it's a good looking bait. I don't know if you can see it through the camera or not, but uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a shot. Uh, we're gonna, we're, we're gonna make them work. It looks like that would be a real flipping bait. Oh, it's, it's gonna be an excellent bait, and especially the way it's laid out. I think it, when the bedding, when it, they start moving up on beds, I think this bait is gonna knock them out well, i think that's going to be good to throw into the reeds oh you know, the, oh yeah you know, the, the buggy whips because it, it won't get all tangled up in the reeds and you can throw it back in exactly and i think it'll work better than a jig i really do i, I think it's going to be a good looking bait it's it's soft enough that uh i think uh when they once they grab it they're they're going to think it's real yeah okay we've got it we've got some some of the uh different tournaments here that uh, we're going to give you some of the standings on them and uh let's see who we got first Okay, uh, this is one of the old clubs you used to fish with. It's called the Orlando Ospreys. Orlando Osprey. Uh, Mel Jenner's. Mel Jenner, yeah. yeah. Okay, the, the guy that won it this year was Jim Owen. Jim Owens? He's in first place. And cool. But more in his second. And uh, Jim had a 9-14 a uh, big fish for wow. the year. Wow. And what lake did he catch that? I think, I think he caught that... Uh, I believe it was, it was down at the Okeechobee. I, oh, I, okay. I think it was Okeechobee. That was the, okay. Okay, and Brian Fish won the, uh, Brian. Brian, Brian Fish. I yeah. fished with Brian many, many times. Yeah, I think Don Gill was second and Paul Gay was third. Yeah. This, is, this is for the Ospreys Classic. Brian and I uh, fished that uh, spring fling uh, down in St. Cloud a couple years back. Yeah. 
Okay, now it's uh, next next coming up we have courtesy anglers, which you also fish. I fish. Yeah, and uh, Ashley Stone and Rick Bloom uh, took first place in that one. Matt Gunn and Ernie Farrell were second. Jason Council and Rodney Glunt were third. Yeah, that was that was it. I'm not going to mention how where we came. Yeah, I mean, don't tell them where I come in either. <laughs> Trucker boys, uh, Troy Ag, and uh, and that's the one you and I going to get together on this yeah, year. We're so fix that one this yeah, it'd be the first for me on that one. Yeah, that, that's a good. That's a good trail. The yeah. Trucker boys is an excellent trail. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Lake Mary, uh, Ken White uh, came in first place. George Wageman was second, and Paul Newswanger was third. Cool. Er, Ernie Farrell won the classic down in Mr. Fogo on that one on two days. Yeah. Er, Ernie's won a lot this year. Yeah, Ernie's doing good. South Pasco. This is out of the Tampa Bay area. Is it down there? Okay. Joe Felice won it with 549 points. David Pano was second. Norm Soash was third. And then the classic Michael Michael Blanchard won it. Al Rodriguez was second. Wayne Johnson was third. Cool. That's, that's, that's the largest uh, Bassmasters uh, two man uh, cool. uh, yeah. team tournament. Jacksonville Bass Club. Uh, Lauren Murren uh, was in first place, John Allen second, and Carl Haldago was uh, third last year, I believe. Uh, Carl Haldago was the uh, angler of the year last year. Hi, Zyra. Um, while we're standing here, who's holding the record for the big bass splash for the December? Okay, for the big for the big bass side pots, right? So so far, it's Ben Carter from Courtesy Anglers oh, really? is, is winning. He has. He has uh, 536. Foy Underwood has 534, and there's still a few tournaments to go yet. But <laughs> I'd, really, I'd like to be in Ben's Ben's place. Yeah, that'd be cool. You got a side pot for Ben and taking bids on him. Uh, yeah, I, 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 would take, I would take bids on him right now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, th thank you very much. All right. We'll see you out here tomorrow. I'll How's be it? here. Okay. Thank you, Bob. Yeah. I'm standing here with Pete Sarr. He just finished up an ABA down in Southport. Unfortunately, we're in a different location where he met us over here. Um, Pete, you want to tell us how your day went and, and uh, what did you catch? Well, got three little ones on a dynamite stick by Catch em Laws. Uh, okay, you the dynamite stick. You, you June want to hold, bug. The June bug one, the June one I got in my hand. One. That one. Uh -huh. So I caught yeah, seven pounds, three fish. So... How did you uh, how did you present this to them out there to, well, to do that? What I use is what we call a Bernie rig. Okay. A friend of mine designed this. It's a Gamagatsi uh, two watt hook with a built in weight. And, okay. And you just rig it up Texas style, and just let it flut. It's it's only a three sixteenths weight, so it kind of flutters to the bottom, and basically as soon as it hits the water. That's when they they want to eat it. They want to eat it. That's cool. You know, so, so it uh, was windy, 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 about 20 miles an hour. So it was kind of hard to stay in position. So you were down in South End. So the, I was the South. That, that's the windy the side because we got that. Side of the lake. That we had that uh, west, northwest wind all right, day long. Right. So. so yeah, fishing's fishing. You know. <laughs> You, you go out to have fun, and catching them's a bonus. So, uh, how many boats did you have down there on we, that one? We had uh, 13 boats, 16 anglers. We had uh, a couple guys as co-anglers. Right. right. That's a draw yeah. tournament. It's a draw. If you don't have a boat, you you can fish you as, can a co fish as a co-angler. But it's still it's still like you got a boat. So, so the the, the co-angler actually gets the same prize winning as yeah. the boater does. Right, right. Oh, that's cool. But what they do is if you're a co-angler, you make a deal with your boater that you can split 50% of the day to where you want to go. Right. So it, it's kind of fair. And if you got a nice boater, he'll let you up there on the front on the trolling motor. And like you and I, huh? Like, like I do. I, we fish together a lot, and we do pretty good on our Wednesday night tournaments out here, don't we? We do, we do. Okay. And, uh, a, now, they have an ABA out of here tomorrow. Right. Are, are you going to try to fish that one too? I, or, have, to, uh, are you I gonna... have to talk to the wife and see what she <laughs> says, but she'll say yes. Yeah, and that's... then I'll say, can I have the money? <laughs> <laughs> we 